Hi everyone, this is Darren from Fast Track Property. I did this video a while back, but after reviewing it, I realized that it has still a lot of applications and very relevant in today's market. So here it goes for you to take a look, for you to plan your real estate cycle of property investment better in Singapore, right? And to really help me out, do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Hi everyone, this is Darren Ng from Fast Track Property. Have you ever had that thinking in your mind whether if you buy a property, should you be taking up a loan? Okay, or should you be paying off in cash? Or how much loan should you take if you're even given the chance of taking a full loan? Should you take a partial loan or should you take a full loan for the property? Okay, so I've having, I'm having this conversation with my the people on the ground and even my customers for the past two to three months and a lot of them have been very confused thinking that um, I better have a property fully paid so I'm not so stressed out. And there's another group of people that say, no, I want to take a loan, but it's because they don't have the money right now to fully pay out the property. And they want to work towards fully paying it off. So therefore, I wanted to clear the air out for you to have some idea of the reason why you want to pay off a property or take a loan for that matter. All right. And for me to go into that, I wanted to just share a little bit about what is inflation before you can, you can actually understand uh, taking a loan or not. Okay. So inflation basically means how our money will actually stream over the years when the government and the banks keep printing money. Say for example, um, this pie, all right, it is worth twelve dollars for four pieces, which gives you per piece about four dollars. Sorry, or per piece about three dollars. And as the banks continue to print money out, what happens is that in the future, the same pie will be worth twelve dollars, but now per piece will only worth two dollars, right? So it means that our money will keep stringing over the years right, as the banks continue to print money. Okay, so maybe understand that right now that if you don't have our money sitting around in the tin can under our beds like our great grandparents for example, right? It will just, the, the, the amount that it is worth in the future is going to be very small. Okay, so what happens if you have the opportunity to fully pay a property today at a million dollars? So for example, if you were to buy a property for a million dollars and this is, uh, this goes for either if you are investing this property or if you want to uh, live in it on your own, right? So I just give you a general understanding first. For a $1 million property, you have paid in cash, full payment of a million dollars, right? And you stay in this property for the next 10 years, for example, and it has appreciated, say, for um, uh, by $100,000. Means that at a point in time, 10 years later, you want to sell this property for $1.1 million, you have net returns of $100,000, all right? What is your yield? Then your yield will be 10%. And if you divide this over the course of 10 years, it will mean that you have actually let your money uh, work hard for you in terms of 1% returns every single year. Let's compare this with someone that took on a loan, for example. Okay? And uh, for a million dollars loan, sorry, uh, for a million dollars property, he will have down payment of uh, $250,000 and took on a loan for $750,000. Okay? And the same scenario happens. He stayed there, paid off the mortgages, and 10 years later, the same property increased by 10% at $1.1 million. Now, what is his returns then? If you take the capital increase of $100,000 and you divide this by his initial down payment of two fifty, dollars it gives you a 40% return. All right? And this is just very fantastic because now it means to say that over the course of 10 years, his money is now working for this person at 4% returns instead of the one that fully paid out the property at 1%. All right? Of course, there is a mortgage on uh, for the one that took on the loan okay now next thing to understand is that whether you take a loan or not you want to also know the present value of a property say for example if today you were to borrow um for the bank ten thousand dollars okay for the next 30 years and imagine they say that at the end of the 30 years you only have to give them back five thousand dollars how many of you will actually take up this loan you would right okay i would too Okay, so now let's just take a look at this screen. So over here, it just tells you, this is called the backward flat rate inflation calculator. I don't want to show this to you because uh, for the past 30 years on average, uh, Singapore's inflation rate right, is about 1.58%. And if I input this here at this rate, and if you were to borrow $750,000 in the next 30 years, what it means to say that the same money that is worth seven fifty dollars today will only be actually worth Four, six, eight, six hundred in thirty years time. All right. What does this mean? It means that what it means is inflation rate, right? Whatever this amount is today is only worth so much in thirty years. But the base is giving you today to buy a property. 
all right and they do not capitalize in terms of the of the capital gains that you might get okay and if you were to plug in the inflation rate it means that you only have to pay back the bank all right if you win the inflation rate of only four hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars all right and this really makes sense if you want to borrow money right you actually are smarter because you want to let your money work harder for you next thing does it make sense then to take another loan why and the interest rate how much are you really paying have you actually uh, uh, calculated that if you today if you buy a property for a million dollars at two percent interest rate all right so what happens is that let me just show you this on the board if you took on a loan right of seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars at a interest rate of two percent okay you will realize that you'll be paying let me just take a look a total interest of two hundred and forty seven thousand nine hundred and seventy two dollars okay and if you do divide this out this is over the course of 30 years yeah and if you do divide the interest out over the initial capital that you have paid over 30 years you realize that it is only 0.33 percent interest that you are paying every single year over the course of the next 30 years so just think about it does it make sense for you to borrow money or to fully pay okay if you are going to fully pay i find that it is a bit uh, not so smart because today the banks are loaning money i'm uh, using a two percent interest right now you can get what uh, 1.82 percent from the banks all right so if you uh, you know that you're going to hold this property for the next 30 years you need to be fully paid right do not have the capital stuck inside the property you could actually reuse the capital for example if you have a million dollars today and you want to fully pay a two bedroom property it'll be wise for you to buy a one a, a two a two bedroom take on a loan use the remaining money to reinvest it into a commercial property and let this money work harder for you all right so this all this is all about fast tracking your property right and fast track property method this is for you to use your the particular time that you could actually achieve something that you could take longer using the normal way and with this method it actually escalates and you shorten the time for you to achieve whatever you achieve using property okay so in a nutshell um, this is for you to consider which makes more sense, alright? And I'll speak to you soon.